how can i say same just yeah it's, it go, it's cool now. beginning with this it's still the same can you check the last three uh, keywords no at the beginning you will see the same that one is the uh okay, that one is again. Where was I trying this on? Copy uh, that token with the BRR keyword. The bear word? Yes. Do I also do it with the sign, this part too? No, not the double quotation. I think you missed the <laughs> workshop video. So... I have tried a few times. It never worked for me. Not in the authorization. So click on that. Yeah, log out. Not oh, my it. goodness. Oh. I mean, it worked before when I tried, you know, without the bear word. Something went wrong. Okay, at least now different error you are getting. Okay, so go up, scroll up a little bit. Well, hold on. Go to just... the request body. Go to the request body of that. No, 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 you are fine with the token. The token is passed, so that's why you are not getting the invalid token. So scroll up. Okay. Go the to request... the request body of that. Uh, create which? Yeah. Uh, this active. Uh, can you a make the a in uh, the a uh, lower case? Yeah. Let's see, yeah, execute. Scroll down. Something went wrong. Something went wrong, 400. So something went wrong means uh, we are giving some information uh, incorrect into the payload. So status, is it true? Okay, make it true. Let me see, I forgot also. No, no, go there, just status true. Not campaign, it's print. It's active. Just copy it from here and paste there. Okay, no. Same just, thing? No? No. No, no, no. So. Go there into the swagger. Just can you just ensure me that if it is working with the true or false? Maybe it is a Boolean type, but in the front end, it's showing the active inactive. True. Now, till with the lowercase. Yeah. Is it good? Let's scroll down. Oh, it's true. Okay. What is this ID? Am I supposed to copy it? Is yeah. this like this ID will help you to edit? If you want to edit this uh brand, then you need this ID to pass the uh, into the endpoint as a query path. Okay. Oh. And images. Okay. And updated. All right. Okay. So, anything else from you? No, nothing else from me. Yeah. Then you can continue with this and just write the user history then send us to review okay okay then the next one is uh, next farhana yes thanks by the
Okay, so I have in feature three mm -hmm. stories and in buyer I have more. Okay. And would you like to read or should I just go to story? Just go one or two user story. Let me see. Because I gave all of you some uh, feedback on the acceptance criteria. So I want to see that. Did you guys change there? Did you guys improve there? You don't. Oh, this is for seller. Sorry. How to buy a part. I cannot see story number here. Uh, you can read. Should I read? Uh, or... As a seller, I should be able to get my orders from buyers on seller portal get my orders get my orders okay from buyers on seller portal uh, as a seller i should be able to oh, my orders i should be able to my orders i should be able to oh, sorry get i should orders. be able to get yes yeah get my orders from buyers on seller portal so that i can start to process the orders okay so that i can start to process the orders okay prerequisite Seller should have internet access and a browser. Seller needs admin account on the portal and must be logged in. Acceptance criteria, I am navigated to the base URL of seller portal. Okay, in the prerequisite, you can also add another one like uh, uh, your buyer should have ordered the product. So that's on also the prerequisite, okay. right? Okay. Yes. Okay, so acceptance criteria is I am navigated to the base URL of seller portal. I click on orders on the dashboard located on the left side. So I am navigated to another interface where I can see a list of orders from buyers listed right next to dashboard. Okay, so it's also like uh, right, you wrote also by uh, like the scenario based. So mm -hmm. it's not uh, when and then, it's a uh, I don't know, rule oriented or it's not um like when and then yeah it's you it, it just remove the given when then but it's also looking like the scenario based so like uh uh okay you have to navigate to the base url on the seller portal click on the order on the dashboard located on the left side then you navigate it to the another interface where i can see list of orders from buy listed right next to the dashboard then you can also say that the uh, a uh, seller should view the orders uh, uh orders proper information like the product name uh, the uh, buyer name uh, buyer address yes. mm -hmm. okay buyer email buyer contact information this information should get uh, the seller then also uh, um seller um seller should be able to uh, um accept the order so that uh, the to to uh, move or to continue the process to start the process of the order processing okay so this so, all goes in here it's just i'm getting the order i mean yeah like after like uh, from the from the get the order what you can do like okay uh okay you can process the process one you can do into the different user history but at least you can say here that a seller should be able to view oh, the proper information of the order ordered product okay sure because i was i just followed what i had here mm -hmm. what i had here so go to there go there where you will get the product This one? This is all part of, I'm sorry, this is order right here. Order, order, yeah. Yes, yes. So, so if I order. click on any so, yeah, order see? right here on the right icon.